Delhi's air pollution forecasting system could only predict 5 out of 14 severe air quality days accurately in the winter of 2024. Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra and today I'm here to talk about a new report by the Council on Energy, Environment and Water, CEEW, which is titled, How Well Can Delhi Predict Air Quality? In anticipation of Delhi's upcoming pollution days, it looked at Delhi's own pollution anticipation mechanism. The Central Pollution Control Board and its sensors are responsible for actually measuring pollution and smog levels in India. But back in 2018, after some particularly bad smog days, the Union Ministry of Earth Sciences came out with an Air Quality Early Warning System or AQEWS and a Decision Support System, DSS, for Delhi. This basically uses historical air quality data, wind speed and other information to predict air quality at least 3 to 5 days in advance. Meanwhile, the DSS gives information about how much each source is contributing to pollution. It is this prediction that city authorities are supposed to be using to impose air pollution action plans such as the Graded Response Action Plan or GRAP in Delhi NCR. But the CEW study found that all GRAP 3 and GRAP 4 implementations in Delhi this winter were based on the CPCB's observations rather than the AQEWS's forecasted levels. Why is that? Well, the study critically analyzed the efficiency of Delhi's air pollution forecasting methods. It looked at it both qualitatively and quantitatively. Qualitatively, Delhi's air quality forecasting system has everything in place. It uses a variety of data from historical air quality, satellite data of farm fires and even weather data. And it aligns well with most characteristics of an ideal air quality decision support system, said the report. Now, through the quantitative analysis, they found that the system could predict the days of very poor air quality, that is more than 300 AQI, with 80% accuracy. Last winter, AQEWS predicted 83 out of 92 days of very poor air quality very accurately. But in terms of severe air quality, which is more than 400 AQI, the system could only predict 5 out of 14 days accurately. Even this, according to the study, was an improvement from 2023, when it could only predict 1 out of 14 severe air quality days. The study also found that both during the summer and the winter months, the AQEWS underpredicted the levels of PM10 and PM2.5 in the air. There were also certain other challenges that were pointed out by the CEW report. So the AQEWS system is not monitoring the outcomes of GRAP measures that the government imposes. Any ideal AQDSS system, according to the CEW study, beyond just forecasting air pollution, also needs to show how the government interventions are impacting this pollution and whether they're reducing it or not. The report put forward certain suggestions to improve the current system of air quality forecasting in Delhi. For instance, the study suggested that the DSS should have a way of determining which neighboring districts are contributing to pollution in which sector, like transport, construction or farm fires. While we currently do have information about pollution from 19 adjoining districts in Delhi, the study said that it would be better for policy interventions to have more accurate information. Another major suggestion in the study is for us to keep updating the emissions inventory, which is the list of sources and the kinds of emissions that are monitored. Currently, Delhi uses an emissions inventory that was made back in 2016, while countries like the UK or China or even Mexico update their inventories every two to three years. This would help in both policy and health level interventions. It would help people to understand what are the most common and the most harmful emissions that are found in their city's air. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print. Thank you.